Since we've been uh, educating patients about plant-based nutrition and, and organizing cooking classes and showing them the practical challenges or trying to address some of the practical challenges of food prep, uh, we have made a number of observations over the past number of years about certain stumbling blocks that patients tend to run into. Um, there is that group of patients uh, that don't have an emotional connection with food in the same way that some of us do. So they don't, uh, they don't tend to go to food for emotional uh, you know, comfort. Uh, they don't tend to sort of have addictive patterns around food. Those are the minority, but when we teach those people about the science and practice of plant-based nutrition, they seem to be able to switch their diet with very little effort uh, and stick to it and derive very strong benefits in a very short period of time. Um, those are the lucky ones. The majority of people when they look at it and when we you know, observe it from the outside tend to have a strong, a varying but strong emotional connection with food and tend to go to food for comfort, go to food for stress relief and so forth. That's when things get a bit more challenging but that's the majority of people that I see and that's why we, we felt it's necessary to use other modalities other than just education in order to address these challenges. So uh, on sort of modeling off of uh, Dr. Dean Ornish's program in Southern California, Dean's program has uh, a focus on plant-based nutrition. It has four pillars mainly. Plant-based nutrition is one leg of the table. The other one is uh, a regular exercise. The other one is uh, group support. So being able to liaise with other people, be a part of a group, and especially amongst people who are taking on this new plant-based lifestyle as a total newbie thing, having other people around to share stories with, to discuss challenges, seems to really help people stay on track. And then the other fourth part of the, of the program is stress reduction. So not everybody has a clinical diagnosis of anxiety and depression, thankfully, but, but many, many people have have senses of anxiety to various degrees to the point where it causes significant overwhelm in, in many of us. And just uh, and then the thought of having to change your diet or try a new recipe or shop for new food can be just can be just overwhelming. So so even people who don't appear to be anxious or appear to have depressive symptoms, if they uh, get involved with a program like uh, mindfulness meditation, it can often reduce their stress, improve their quality of life, and improve their focus. So we've, we've recently started a, a, a number of programs here, one of them uh, an MBSR program to help people learn how to actually use the well-researched techniques of mindfulness-based stress reduction to help reduce their stress in their life and also improve their focus and improve their ability to stay on course for what they know they want to do and yet tend to have emotions kick them off or put, uh, put stumbling blocks in their way so they can really focus on what they want and uh, be much more successful in achieving it, namely nutritional goals, habits, and systems in place to help them stay on track with a whole food plant-based diet.